if someone calls me, if, if a woman makes reference to my hairline, mm -hmm. apparently I'm now permitted to talk about her breast size. <laughs> Am I right? Excuse me. You know the story. Okay, I know the story, but you have to explain it. So it, this is in the UK. Yeah. And a court found that if uh, at, in the workplace, that if a woman says something negative about a man's baldness, right. that, that is can be sexual harassment. Right. Because what you're saying, women, women, unless there's a, a unique situation, women are not bald like men are bald. So you are making a comment that is inherently related to my gender Therefore. And, and said this panel the equivalent to commenting on the size of a woman's breasts this is so tc do insane. you wish to say anything about my baldness this is absolutely insane i think this is i get the letter of the law i get the letter of the law i get the sexual gender male i get that but that's not the spirit of the law, and it's not the spirit of baldness. You know, I don't have to tell you this. You know this. I grew up with bald men. My father was bald from the time he was 24 on. But all my uncles, Joey's my grandpa. Joey's hairy. I have the bad fortune of being married to a man with the best hair in the country. <laughs> Why he is that bad it. fortune? He lost it all with cancer. It all came back. All our friends are like, what is going on here? I love bald. I think bald is fabulous. Like, what? what there's you see, nothing I'm wrong with I'm cautioning you. Do not say the word bald in this studio I know, again. But, but Michael, it'll open doors. I only can. I only can't say it if it's a pejorative, and I don't think it's a pejorative. That's my point. Like, who? Who made it a bad thing?